this is Nick. And the reason I brought Nick up is he had, he was talking today and he had the same experience as the other two as he was talking a lot about, he used to super react. I mean, he's a handsome guy, right? But he used to have a lot of trouble getting girls because he was so reactive and so upset every time the girl gave him even the slightest hint of not being interested. And then he would self-reject because he'd freak out. And, and then he'd be, and so when I first started working with him, he was really getting upset all the time because he felt rejected all the time. Uh, he was really ro super robotic back then. He's let a lot of that go. Um, what he, I noticed today that was super impressive was he was almost the opposite now. When a girl gives you a hard time, rejects you, or you're not sure how something's going to go, and you start to feel that, you were talking about how you feel the anxiety rising in your body. Yeah, it's just building up. And then you go, okay, can I just let that go? And then you relax, and you know, I'll just see what happens. And then a lot of times, as you let it go, it turns around, right? Mm -hmm. Or something changes. Can you talk a little bit about that experience? Yeah. And uh, talk to the camera there, the guys up there. Right. So, yeah, like he was saying, I used to just try to control everything, just be really <coughs> analytical. And what really helped me was... When I started to get enough rejections, I just got to a point where I asked myself, you know what, can I just flirt with them, make them feel good for one second, and then be okay if I never see them again? And it just it started to build over time because basically what I used to think was, what, if I got a girl feeling good, then like, oh, like, that's the only girl I'm ever gonna have that kind of connection with, I gotta hold on to it. But then the more casual and casual I got about making women feel good, just sharing my truth, making them feel feminine, the easier and easier it got to just keep letting it go. And really, it's like when when I start to actually get success with women, like kissing them, spending nights with them, going on dates with them, when I already had that feeling of abundance, it became exponentially easier to let them go because what I would do was if I was with a girl who she was kind of interested, but then there was a chance that she might take it back, I just remind myself, well, I already had all these experiences with other women. This really isn't no big deal. So yeah, I mean, if, if she doesn't want to continue with it, then that's fine. Like I'll, I'll just enjoy it for what it was and let it go. And the crazy thing is, is that women, because they're so in touch with feeling people like themselves, men, and just, just everything, they could kind of feel that relaxation of me just, like it's, it's like they could actually hear my voice going, oh, it's okay if I don't, wait, I, I don't get sex from this woman. I'm just gonna enjoy her. And Ooh, I like that. Yeah, exactly. It's like they can hear your a voice. Well, how did you say it? Say it one more time. So they could hear a voice, like literally, they could literally hear my voice going, you know what? It's okay if I don't have sex with this woman. I'm just gonna enjoy her. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay if I don't have sex with this woman. I'm just gonna enjoy her. I'm just gonna enjoy you. Yeah. And that's uh, yeah. I can see where that would ch that changes everything. But you have to actually mean it. You have to feel it in your body. It's not exactly. just something you say in your head. And whereas a lot of guys are in their heads, when they do that from their heads, their body actually almost probably reacts in reverse from being in your head. When you when you actually can feel some of your body, which you've been working a lot on, and you say something like that, you, you feel this, what do you feel in your body? Like total relaxation? Yeah, it's of, like, it's this feeling of openness, expansion, like this gentle warmth just radiating down through it. It, it feels pretty good. Like, if, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be in specific, but when you feel it, you just feel really good in your body. Nice. And that feeling, have you noticed how that feeling translates to her? Mm -hmm. Almost instantly, doesn't it? It seems like it's just like, it's like a radio signal that goes bam. Yeah. And then she feels something different. So, um, awesome. Is there any other uh, tips in this area you want to give the guys about being able to um, ground themselves out in this area? Like, what was it? Is this, can you give, like, you kind of described it, but yeah. what could they do at home from your perspective, something you've used that they could take and start using right away, maybe to help them just improve in this area a little bit or a lot, you know, wherever you're at? What's, what's a technique or a thing you're using personally? Right. So the biggest piece of advice that I have to offer is that the only reason why you're getting nervous or behind your body is because there's this disconnect. And basically what that disconnect comes from is that part of you wants the women, but there's the other part of, you, part of you that doesn't want the women. But most of us, we don't want to acknowledge a part of us that doesn't want it. You know, we kind of suppress it down and we're, we're, we're acknowledging the part of us that wants it. But then we get like all these like nervous tics and w weird sensations in our body. Well, that's the result of the other part that we haven't acknowledged. So what you got to do is you got to start meditating, getting really honest with yourself so you can start feeling why is it that you don't want the women you want? So then you can start 
allowing the emotions to come up and let them go. And then in doing that, you'll start to see like, literally, like, it's not gonna be an instant process because it's gonna take time, but with less and less effort, you're gonna start seeing better results from women. So yeah, just, just start. And how long should that process take in your, in your experience? You know, it, it really varies for me. Yeah, how long did it take for you? Yeah, for me, the process, it's honestly it's the process I'm still going through, but it... To see some results, how long did it take you? I'd say like a month. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad, a month. And then uh, one more thing, there's a part of you that doesn't want the women. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but for a lot of guys out there, they may not, they, they, they're, they're sitting there right now going, no, there's no part of me that doesn't want the women. Yeah. And um, how, if we were to look at that a little deeper, and I look at that a little deeper, there's a part of their ego or subconscious that perceives women as pain or, or responsibility or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that's the part of them that I see as not wanting women. Is that the way you see it? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, because pretty much the way I even became conscious of that part of me was that when I was meditating, I, I would just think of the idea of me being with a beautiful woman and for a second, it feel good, but then all of a sudden I'd have all this tension in my body, like this just And that, that's the part of your body rejecting the woman. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's the thing, like, that we, we tend to create this illusion that, oh, the women aren't difficult, the women test too much, or we, we need to have money or status to get the women, but it's, it's really just an illusion because that's actually you trying to rationalize the heaviness you're feeling inside of yourself when you're trying to pursue those women. So instead of fighting against obstacles that you're creating in the real world, just get honest with yourself, let go of the emotions behind it, and just let life take its course. Because it's like you always say, we're naturally built to attract women. Yes, we are. And if you're not attracting women and you're male, uh, most likely you're rejecting them in some way. So uh, I want to thank you for coming up. Uh, make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, and remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.